Today, I'm gonna take you on some outdoor adventures that you must try when visiting Las Vegas. We are definitely more than just a strip, and I know that you've been dying to discover what is out there beyond the city limits. I may or may not flip over a cart today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. I'm not confirming. Okay guys, so we're up bright and early and that's because we're about to go see some beautiful nature, but we're doing it in style. We are with Pink Jeep Tours right now and they have dozens of tours anywhere from the Grand Canyon, Arizona, Missouri, Tennessee, and of course Las Vegas. So about two years ago, I actually did a tour with them where we went to the El Dorado Canyon and we discovered some gold mining caves. That one was really cool. And then I did a city tour where we got to go on Las Vegas Boulevard and see all the bright lights. So again, we're back with Pink Jeep and this time I'm taking you to Red Rock Canyon but it's a tour that you wouldn't expect. And cool thing is that they'll pick you up from your hotel. Okay, we got everyone. Let's go. <laughs> We're here. So in case you didn't know, uh, Red Rock is actually only about a 30 minute drive from the Strip, so that was a very quick ride. So the first stop we're doing really quick here is the Visitor Center, just in case if anybody wants to buy any quick snacks, souvenirs, or use the restroom. But yeah, we're gonna be doing a lot of exploring today. We're supposed to be seeing a lot of different ancient art, geological features, lots of plants and animals and we are off-roading. So yeah, this is a very special pink Jeep. If you guys have seen them before, they do have their other regular size vans, but this one is specifically made for off-roading. So hopefully we're gonna get to see some really cool views today. So we're also gonna be doing the scenic drive, which is a 13 mile loop around the Red Rock Canyon. And we'll also be passing by the Wilson Cliffs and the Spring Mountain Range. Oh wow, this is a really cool view. Uh, that's cool, you can even see people hiking out there. Hey, I'd rather go here than in the middle of the desert. All right, so you guys see these red cactuses? Those are called barrel cactuses. You know, cut open a barrel cactus, oh, drink yeah. gallons of water. You've probably seen that in the old movies. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no water in there, guys. You're, <laughs> you're, you're in big trouble at that point. You probably spotted the few Joshua trees on the way into the park. It's got its name from the Mormons because it reminded them of the prophet Joshua. But there's arms that reached in prayer. So that's how it's got its name, the Joshua tree. This one is right about 200 years old, you see. <gasps> Uh, less than 1% of anybody that's ever been in the park is going to where I'm going to take you guys to today. The type of rock you see is called sandstone, and the reason for the red color is iron oxide or rust. So now we're at our second stop right now, and I would say this is probably the most popular place to stop here for Red Rock Canyon, because I mean, obviously, look at these rocks right here. Look how red they are. They're so beautiful. And you can actually just come here, park, and you could definitely go down there and hike a little bit. It's actually, it kind of almost looks easy, but not at the same time, I don't know. And it's some pretty good scaling right there, so you can go on top of all of those rocks right there pretty easily. And if you're gonna come and hike on your own, uh, definitely wear bright colors and uh, bring a buddy with you just in case if you do get stuck up there. But yeah, this is definitely a must stop place if you're gonna come to Red Rock Canyon. Uh, but the most common snake you'll see up in this area is the Western Diamondback Rattlesnake. That no is snake pay for me, way. please. Oh look, we have another pink jeep tour here, but this one is the enclosed one. So up to you guys if you want to do a Red Rock Canyon tour, uh, going off-roading or just staying on the actual road. Oh, and we just had to get out really quick because apparently there is a juniper tree that is 2,000 years old. What? How is that possible? 2,000 years old? Dang. Isn't that beautiful? And then yeah, in case you guys didn't know, the juniper berries is what makes gin. So I wonder if they made gin back in the day, 2,000 years ago. And this is also a place that you must stop because just look at the view right here. You can kind of see most of the scenic loop right there. You can see the red rocks over there on the distance. And of course, right now we have snow because we're in the middle of winter right now. Great view up here. Real quick, I want to make sure everybody's seatbelt and make sure we're all nice and tight. You got a feeling we can have some fun through this. If you look up above you, you will see some handles. Those are called, oh crap, handles. <laughs> if you feel the need to hang on to those. It's a bit bumpy, guys. <laughs> now I want one. I gotta get one of these and then bring all my friends on trips. Hang on, guys. We'll get through this. <laughs> I'm having the time of my life right now. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> this literally feels like a roller coaster. 
<laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, we're going sideways. <laughs> we're gonna go sideways now. <laughs> It's like we're on the Indiana Jones ride from Disneyland right now, but crazier. <laughs> This is definitely a lot of fun, uh, but they do warn you, um, probably not the best if you're pregnant or if you have back problems. I can see why. Anybody close your eyes on the way up? <laughs> I, I, I did a couple times. <laughs> I'm gonna go throw up real quick. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so right now, filming this, we are in basically the middle of February, and February is really cold here in Las Vegas. It does get pretty rainy out in the city, but that means up here in the mountains, it does snow, so look at it. It really looks like we're in the middle of a crazy snow village. I'll hit the cameraman for you guys. I missed. <laughs> Is this icy? It's a little, oh! <laughs> it's a little icy. <laughs> That's cool. I had no idea the red rocks came all the way over here. I knew we were gonna go off-roading, but I was definitely not expecting this. This is just so beautiful. Yeah, if you guys can, definitely take the time and get yourself a pink Jeep just to come all the way up here. It's definitely worth it. I will say though, guys, probably don't bring your most favorite shoes uh, because uh, they will get a little muddy. <laughs> this is uh, definitely a four by four, some sturdy tires to get us out here. Good job, pink Jeep. Okay, time for more off-roading. Let's drop in. <laughs> It does look like Indiana Jones is driving. <laughs> Whoa. So smooth. Suddenly, the road feels so much smoother now. Now we can just enjoy the scenic view. Hey, Norma, what are you doing? Oh, I'm playing Bingo Blitz. What's Bingo Blitz? You've never heard of Bingo Blitz? I had no idea I would find such a fun game until I found Bingo Blitz. Here in Las Vegas, we were surrounded by so many fun and crazy things that I thought I'd seen it all. Until one day, I was offered a free game of bingo at one of the hotels and it just blew my mind. So that's why I'm so happy Bingo Blitz came into my life. First of all, it's free. And secondly, this is not the game you thought you knew. You have a variety of bingo rooms, all with different themes as you virtually travel around the world. There's power-ups and boosters, and with over a million players, you can meet so many friends from all over who are also bingo lovers. It's definitely a brain teaser trying to hit all these different numbers with so many sheets. And you can play anytime and anywhere. No need for a bingo hall. The content is always new and exciting. So what are you waiting for? Download the number one bingo game right on your phone. Did I mention it was free? Guys, uh, you will never guess what I'm driving. I am driving a Bronco right now. So right now we are on a guided tour with fucking Bronco. And I was literally just handed the keys and I'm following the tour guide right now off over to Lake Mead. So Buck and Bronco, they do tours with actual four Broncos and they take you out into the desert, more towards the Lake Mead area. And eventually we're gonna go off-roading. And cool enough, you're the one who gets to do the off-roading. So if you guys know me, I've always wondered what it's like to drive a Bronco or maybe own one. So guess we're gonna find out today and everything she can do. So for now, we're gonna enjoy this beautiful desert scenery. So right now we are driving 45 minutes out to our trail, which is called the Boathouse Cove Trail. The tour guide did say it is one of the more milder uh, off-roading experiences, which thank God, because I'm a beginner for sure. <laughs> but they do have other ones that are a little bit more moderate or higher level in expertise. And then of course you can trade off with whoever you came with, that way everybody has a turn to do their own off-roading. Doing our first stop. Did I turn off? <laughs> I don't know how to drive Broncos. <laughs> you can do a few breaks while you're driving here. Um, this first one we stopped at is called Redstone. Um, it's super nice. It kind of looks like a little mini Red Rock Canyon. And they definitely have a hiking trail over there that you can do. But yeah, you can just stop for a few minutes, talk to the tour guide, and they even have bathrooms, best of all. Oh, and lots of picnic spots. Okay, let's continue driving. It's Belinda's turn to drive. Oh, I feel so tall. So the tour guide said that we have about three more miles to go and then we can actually start off-roading. I'm terrified. <laughs> it's okay, we're gonna, we're gonna be okay. It's a mild one. Oh snap, here we go. You guys ready? Yeah. All right. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, not bad. This is pretty smooth. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm convinced. I want one now. <laughs> Whoa, it's getting crazier. Maybe. Ah! <laughs> <Wowza>. <laughs> <laughs> so we're finally now on the Boathouse Cove Trail and it is, it's smooth, but it's a little bumpy, but this is fun. <laughs> is. We're gonna be driving for three miles. Um, yeah, but we're also going like 10 miles an hour <laughs> on this road. So we're going to be here a while, but we're going to have some fun. I'm hanging on, guys. I'm hanging <laughs> on. You have another ring here, yeah. too? <laughs> ah! <laughs> You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Panic mode. <laughs> you can do it, girl. You can do it. <laughs> oh, snap. I feel like we're going on the New York New York roller coaster. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> My turn to drive. <laughs> oh, my God. These rocks are crazy. Oh, are we going sideways? We're about to go sideways. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah! <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, we are going sideways. No. <laughs> I'm trying so hard not to scratch the car. <laughs> oh, <yes. laughs> Where are we? I can't see. <laughs> I can't see. This. Okay, turn. All <laughs> oh, the speed bumps in Vegas prepared me for this. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Oh my nachos. Adios. 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 Okay. That's the only thing I don't like. I don't want to go sideways anymore. Okay. I think we're here. I think we're here. Uh, we're here. Lunch time. It was amazing. Oh, whoa. There's a uh, little poopies right there. <laughs> Yeah, so actually it's so funny because all along the trail we saw a whole bunch of little different poopies like that. <laughs> little caquitas. <laughs> yeah, so there's definitely animals out here. We don't know what kind. Oh, look! More more poopies right there. <laughs> okay, so for our lunch stop right here, this is actually Lake Mead right here. So there's so much of Lake Mead that a lot of people do not know about, but it's definitely so beautiful out here. It's very peaceful. You literally cannot hear anything else or anybody else but us. Okay, let's go jump in the lake. <laughs> so we found out that the, the poo is uh, from the horses. So there's wild horses out here. Be very careful not to step on that. <laughs> okay, just kidding. I'm not jumping in. Now, if you want to do a tour with Buck and Bronco, it's going to be $300 per person. It will include lunch. Gas is already included, so you don't have to worry about that. And a cute little water cup is included as well. Now, they do also have an option where you can actually rent the Bronco and then just take it yourself. No tour guide is needed. Now, that one's going to be $347 for six hours. And then once you return out, then that's when you have to fill it up with gas. But yeah, honestly, I feel like limousines are way more expensive. So I feel like some shots probably cost way more than that. So, pretty good deal. All right, should I touch it? I'm gonna touch it. Ew. Oh, yeah, that's cold. <laughs> Let's get back to Vegas. <laughs> I told you it was weird to be sideways. <laughs> oh my nudges. Bro, chill, we just ate. Yeah, they're fake, but they're moving. They're, they can't be fake. They're fake. They're fake? Oh my god. They're... F Wait, are no. they real? I don't know. <laughs> I'm so confused. I don't know what the hell that was, uh, but I can't tell if those horses were real or fake. I don't know, I'm pretty sure they were fake. What do you guys think? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, it's decided. I'm getting one in blue. We're going rafting, guys. That's right, rafting. And the best part is where we're doing this set activity. That's right, you guessed it, we're going to the Hoover Dam. I had heard about this activity before, but I wasn't sure if it was real or not. Like, we're really gonna go down there. So yes, we're about to head out in a second. Uh, gonna go use uh, the little girl's room because there's no more toilets once we leave this place. And yes, I'm dressed like an Eskimo because it's a big coat out. So this is the Hoover Dam rafting tours and they do tours that take you down into the Colorado River and we even go through the Black Canyon. 
they offer two different tours. One of them you'll be down on the river for three hours and then another one is going to be an hour and a half which is the one that we're going to be taking today. This one's going to be $69 for adults and $49 for kids and four and under are free. You do have to provide your own transportation so as you guys saw we got there to the Hoover Dam Lodge by 10 30 in the morning and then they take us down here. Oh shoot we should probably go <laughs> in the thing. We are in the secure zone of Hoover Dam. If you look up at the top of the dam, there are actually st uh, people standing up there. So they're wondering, what is that boat down there? So a little bit about the dam. If you choose to build a dam in the middle of a canyon with a powerful river running through it, what do you have to do first? You have to divert that river. So where those people are standing up there, it's uh, 45 feet thick or wide from front to back. A little fun fact. Every state of the Union contributed at least six workers. So they made 68 cents an hour, just under 550 a day. So some guys uh, picked up a load of rock and rubble in a truck, drove up a little road, drove across this steel suspension bridge. If you choose to build a dam in the middle of a big desert, where do you house all your construction workers? You've got Las Vegas. The guys that were in charge of this project said, no, we don't want our construction workers out there. We've got to build them a town. There's a gauging station. We placed them here in 1939, still in use today. And then just up a little bit to the right, you can see that there is a hand crank. This is so cool. You can see water flowing out of there. That is hot water and that's what's creating the steam. Locals have a couple of theories about why this is called Ghost by Canyon. Anybody know what an SMH green stamp is? This was an original Starbucks rewards point. When my mother and grandmother went to the store, they got issued these stamps based on the amount of money they spent. Breakfast time. To the left on the Arizona side, you can see a small waterfall. That's a Warm Springs waterfall. Most people say that's about 84 degrees, 85. And you can see that there are sandbags up at the top where the water starts to come over. Uh, that's a natural waterfall. It's not pump water. So water comes down through there. This is a very popular place for canoers and kayakers. And then people that don't want to hike, if you bring your canoe and kayak, they'll just park on that gravel beach. It's so crazy. The water here is so green. It's so pretty. It looks like we're driving down like an emerald river. Driving, floating, I mean, you know what I mean. <laughs> it's kind of cool though because if you ever do decide to like get your own raft or canoe down here, they kind of have like these little beaches right here. I think that'd be a really nice stopping point. It's really so surreal. Like the Hoover Dam is right there. It feels like we can almost touch it. It almost looks like a realistic wallpaper in a sense. Everything down here just looks so nice. I mean, it's really cool because you get to see everything really up and personal. You get to see all the old concrete slabs, the steps, rails that they used to build the dam. You can see the old catwalk, a gauging station, rock hillsides. There's a lot of waterfalls here that we've been spotting and a lot of them are hot springs actually and they come from the trail. Yeah, there's a lot down here that I had no idea existed. Like we are seeing a lot that you wouldn't see from far away. Like you literally have to be really up close to notice everything. Quick pit stop. Ooh. That's probably really cold. Uh, let's... Oh, it's actually not that bad. Probably gonna grow a six finger now. <laughs> Dude, I swear, what is with these waters? They are so clear and it's really cool. They have a whole bunch of like little caves here. One of them even looking like a face, staring right at me. You talking to me? Who do you think he's talking to? If you do decide to come on this tour, uh, definitely keep an eye out for the weather because of course, during the summer it's gonna be really hot and then you're gonna have the blurring sun right on you. And then during the winter, it could be really cold or even kind of like today, it was kind of sprinkling, but imagine coming on a day where it's fully raining. Oh, and sunblock guys, plenty of sunblock, don't forget. And then I really like that little cave right there because it was like literally raining inside of the cave. We're just surrounded by so much water and lots of little waterfalls all over the place. Now, even though we are here in the middle of the desert, there's still a lot of greenery here. There was even a section over here that it was just full of palm trees. I wouldn't expect palm trees in the middle of Hoover Dam. I want to go in the cave now. Next adventure, we're getting kayaks and going in the cave, guys. So the unsung heroes of this whole project of building a dam out here were the early surveyors. Hoover Dam was built in 1931, completed in 1936. So they left their mark, these early surveyors. So look to the right, on this lower right-hand section 
Um, there's a 33. And look where they are. That's not an easy place to get to. Okay, that was a lot of fun. Such a chill adventure. Got to see so much of the outdoors and learn lots of history about the Hoover Dam and how it was built. Definitely recommend. So as always guys, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your friends, and comment below what's your favorite outdoor thing to do here in Vegas. Thank you so much for watching guys. See you next time. Belinda! No, I'm riding and texting. I'm going eight miles per hour. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> I did that. <laughs> So about two years ago, I actually did a tour with them where we went into the El Dorado Canyon and we explored. So we're doing our first stop really quick here at the visitor center, just in case if anybody wants to buy any souvenirs, any food, or if they want to get any souvenirs, food. What are the other ones? Restroom. Bro. Restroom, there you go. So this is the Hoover, <laughs> sorry, there's a bug. <laughs> <laughs> We're just surrounded by so much water and again, lots of, what's it called? What are, what are they called? Kayak. Oh my God. <laughs>